the series, Behind the Curtain presents information in part on theory and conjecture. The producer's purpose is to suggest some possible explanation, but not necessarily the only ones to the mysteries we will examine. Behind the Curtain has traveled the internet searching for mysteries, uncovered conspiracies, and to bring knowledge to our viewing audience. This is the work of our fact checker, the AI formerly known as the Red Queen, and a not so highly skilled writer. Without further ado, we now present to you, Dr. Seacats Behind the Curtain. Thank you for the mostly plagiarized introduction, Doctor. Today we will be examining scary music, please. After receiving a can of tuna in the mail and a note scribbled in crayon, I was forced, I mean commissioned to write about the new awards show and the plan to attack high ratings. The new awards show will feature a combination of the Emmys, Grammys, and Oscars. The Tonys were skipped because no one really watched them in the first place. With year after year of falling ratings, these award shows are desperate to bring back the viewers. In order to win back the audience, they will combine the three awards shows into a big televised extravaganza called, the Ego Awards. The 2021 Ego Awards will add new and exciting award categories, special acts, and even a death pit where has been artists will battle for 15 minutes of fame, pure amusement. The expanded Ego Awards will include and expand to be inclusive of others in the entertainment industry such as, the political class, whiny oppressed millionaire sports entertainers, dry liberal comedians talking about the <laughs> left stream media prostitutes, and other personalities that make up the attention-seeking class. Award shows are the night so entertainers can talk about themselves, when they are not talking about themselves. One side note, speeches will be limited to 10 minutes. If their speech exceeds the 10 minute mark, presenters will be charged the CO2 carbon tax and forced to endure the ramblings of Greta Thunberg as punishment. How dare you! So without further ado, we will present the new award categories. Naturally, the first award that will be presented is the Narcissistic Award. It will be presented to the entertainer who puts themselves first above anything else. Such factors such as, but not limited to, who can take or pose for the most selfies, photo bombs and or use, I, me, and my, the most times in a single tweet or Instagram post. Presenting this award will be, Barack Obama. He will be on stage until his ta 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 teleprompter breaks. That, that, that filter is a powerful thing. But you know, it, it wasn't just, and, 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 and by the way, uh, now, 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 the fact that we... I, I, I just want to be clear. The next award, the Far Far Away Award, will be given to the hero who ran the furthest away thanks to the virus of unknown origins, and is safely joining us from a remote location. The so-called mysterious virus, which Dr. C. Cat is referring to was constructed from a lab in China. Wait, why can't I talk about the... Even the State Department knew about the horrible lab procedures in If I was in charge of that sloppy lab in I would have locked it down and eliminated everyone there with a laser, and then the sight from a bit. Okay, continuing on, whether the poor oppressed millionaire resides in Canada, Mexico or Jupiter it makes no difference as long as you can attend the show from the safety of your phone, mansion, yacht, high fences or with your armed guards. And nothing says bravery like being able to tweet your cause within minutes of a disaster. While extra points are given for a sad poopy face or being surrounded by children, points will be deducted for must spell wings. Those who tweet first, win first. The next award will go to the most oppressed. The presenter, Elizabeth Fekahantu's Warren will be forced to give away this particular award to those who can claim to be the most oppressed by the patriarchy, or, the man. White males who are not woke need not apply. Only those who acknowledge their privilege can possibly obtain such a sad award. Other awards include, Best Smug Entertainer Award, 
Clueless SJW Award, Biggest Hypocrite Award, Newest Woke Award and the Coveted Virtue Signal Award. <laughs> the last and certainly the least, is the Token Minority Award. The entertainment industry will finally acknowledge those who have worked hard in the fields and finally be allowed to stand in the room and share in the table scraps tossed to them by their betters with this award. By allowing those people to share the spotlight, one minute tops, with others will prove that the entertainment industry is not racist. Repeat. Not racist. After they accept the award, they will be allowed to return to the back of the room as not to disturb their betters. In conclusion, if you enjoy watching Pain Dry, can't sleep due to insomnia, or need to torture a confession out of a terrorist suspect, the Ego Awards show is for you. Now please return my kittens, I have met your demands and puffed up your idiot awards show. Although you can keep the second oldest, he's kind of slow and eats too much. This has been another episode of Behind the Curtain. Thank you for watching, and I bid you a good day.